The Minister of Interior, Benny Rao Farag Bushala, has blamed moral decadence in the country on poor parenting. The minister said parents in Nigeria have failed in the discharge of their duties in guiding their children and woods in becoming useful in the society. Farag Bushala spoke in Akure, the Ondo State capital, while hosting the 1975 set of his secondary school, Akoko Agnikan. He lamented the rate at which many youths venture into money rituals. This is my last 23 months. We have strived to build our portfolio of academic programs. The intention is not only to increase the number of our courses and thereby expand the opportunity for quality tertiary education for the Nigerian youth, but also to address key gaps in Nigeria's air professional training arena. Among Journalists live is Abisola Richard Ogbomo, child book author and family equipper. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Thank you for joining us on our primetime news. Now, uh, we, we're taking it from the, from the backdrop of the minister's comment. Uh, we're supposed to take the minister there, if not for the uh, mix-up, uh, the Minister of Interior. He's saying that uh, the speech of kidnappings and uh, money rituals and what have you that the youths are engaged in, all forms of vices are traceable. These vices are traceable to uh, failed parenting. You are an author uh, on parenting and um, uh, child equipper. Okay, would you agree with the minister on this? Pardon? Could you, would I do what? Would you agree with the uh, the minister on this? Guy? I mean, we we, we all well, know we all yeah, know, right? Uh, Abisola, we all know that um, the family is the smallest unit of the society. But can we yeah. entirely place the blame on the parents? Well, I, I wouldn't say in in its entirety. No, we can't entirely blame the parents. But the, but the family is the foundation by which we groom our youth, by which we groom the future generation. And if there's a faulty foundation, it will take a lot of work to build on 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 the, on, and they, on on ensuring that the youth are forward thinking, responsible and um, and reliable. So yes, the family to an extent plays a part. Okay, and uh, we, we have another um, set of people in the country blaming Nollywood, <laughs> blaming Nollywood for the spate of uh, vices among youths. What you take on that? Blaming who? Nollywood. Well, that's neither here nor there. Um, yes, we know that sometimes, you know, when we watch TV, we get envelopes in the non the fiction basically okay so uh, we can't blame nollywood nollywood is what kind of fiction it's it's not tangible it's not substantial they don't they can't have substantial effect if the family is you know is, is properly ordered if, if there's a structure by which the children can air their views if you if a child watches nollywood and they can come home and have a discussion with their parents and their parents make them understand that look what you watch in Hollywood is not reality. This is not responsible. A person going to kill someone for money is not, is not um, a sustainable or a proper way of, of, of making money. It's evil. It's not done. The things would be, at, at least the conscious, the, 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 con the conscious, um, or rather the subconscious mindset of our youths would be that, no, I can't, there's, there's certain things I can't do. In certain areas, I can't, you know, thread upon. But yeah, if the family is where, you know, is it, struct structured in a way where anything goes, of course, Nollywood would not be seen as, as an influence. But Nollywood should not be a primary influence in any child's life. If things are, you know, in place. Now, uh, is that not going back to what the minister says? So who is to, <laughs> who is to be blamed now? Who is to blame? Because you're saying I, I, I would it's say, not... Yeah. I would say it's an integrated um, situation. There isn't... You, 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 it's not an either or. It's not a one plus one equals to two. 
we all just need to play our part. If the family is, you know, structured in a way whereby a child is held accountable, at least that 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 particular slot is, or rather, um, checkbox is ticked. If we have a society where children are encouraged, they are they are celebrated for doing right. That check box is ticked. If we have a society where poverty is not predominant, where children where ch- children see that their hard work would pay, that check box box is ticked. If we have an entertainment industry that is forward thinking, that is deliberate in in in, in portraying the, the the essence of what a society should be. Then that checkbox is ticked. So it's not a, it's not one person to blame. It's we're all together holding hands towards ensuring that our, the, the people we call the future generation have the ideals, have the, the the bedrock that they can build on, and, and and indeed be that future generation that we that that symbolic generation that we say are the leaders of tomorrow. Okay, then, are you saying that the society has lost its uh, grip on child raising? I would never say that. I, and that, that would be saying that we should lose hope. What I'm saying is that we should, we should go back to the drawing board and, and, and start to take steps in ensuring that what we desire is what we're working towards. Because we can't expect something else and be doing and, and be working towards another direction. We won't get the results that we desire. So basically we should work towards what we desire. Okay, then what, what other what where the other influencers? Because when a when a young person goes into ritual killing, uh, it's it's a chain. It's a chain, right? Uh, it Definitely. must have started from somewhere, and then there exactly. will be other enablers in between before it gets to the point where they're burning the head of their victim in the pot, you know. So, who are other uh, who are other enablers or influencers in between that okay, we need I'll, to also address? I'll say share pressure. I'll say. You know, you know the, the kind of friends that such person keeps. I'd say, you know, a, a, a child who who's um what's the word? Yes, mental health as well. Mental health is is is, is something that we shouldn't we shouldn't um, just lay aside. And that doesn't mean madness. It just means that what's the state of the mind of many of these youth? And then also substance abuse. Many of these things, you know, come to play in this scenario. Okay, when you talk about substance abuse, I was shocked uh, weeks ago when certain neighbors were briefing me, like, I mean, like, they were actually briefing me about the extent of um, substance abuse in the society. Like, you don't even know, I just see water bottles everywhere. When I see water bottles, I think it's just water. You know, that's what I thought. <laughs> Until certain neighbors were telling me, like, you are a novice about this. You don't even know what's going mm. on. You know, mm. so, mm. so it's really gone from bad to worse. And uh, mm. this is part of the effect. What, how, how do we check that? Um, we'll continue to hope for the best for our nation. Yes, things may seem like they are bleak and we, we might even start to feel helpless. But I still believe that little drops of water make the tiny ocean in our own way, in our own home. Let's start to do the right. Let's make time for our children. Let's have conversations. Let's look them in the eyes and make them understand that life is beyond the ephemeral money uh, and, and those things that we think will give us um, uh, in just you know short term satisfaction. We also, as a people, should not. You know, many, many times, well, back in the days, they would say that it takes a community to groom a child. But nowadays, you, everybody just minds their business. When you see something <laughs> that is wrong in another child, point it out. Yeah, they might say, what's your business? And, you know, you know in, in, in the so-called um, the, the, the westernized um, um, culture. But we are Africans. If you see something that is not, you know, doesn't just add up, point it out. Then also for our government, our government we, we, we need to start to empower our youth. Nigerian youth are blessed. 
if we have a typical one-on-one -on -one conversation with a, with, a, with a youth, you would see that there's so much promise. So we need to empower our youth. We need to get them engaged, get their minds engaged, you know, and, and, and also in our education, you know, educate, the education system, we need to also go down to ground zero and see what's Thank actually you. happening there. Thank you. And it's not just about um, That's right. Right, going to school, A plus B and C. Thank you. Education goes beyond that. Thank Education, you, you know, goes to, to, to basic things like how do you see yourself? Thank you. How, what are the things that you value? Thank you very what much. What do you understand? Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're talking about values when it comes to education, not just uh, the, uh, the four walls of uh, the school system, but uh, going down to ground zero and then bringing back uh, our value system. Thank you very much, Abisola. We can't, we can't solve this in one fell swoop. We will have to uh, get it back another time sometime soon. Hope you'll oblige us. All right. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Me. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.